Emily was collecting Michael. She was on her way to the station. I'm almost there, she said. Then she approached the platform. Michael was waiting for her. Get in! And Emily steamed away. Meanwhile, Thomas was heading for Rosie's rock shop. He wanted to see Michael when he arrived. I mustn't be late, thought Thomas as he puffed across the bridge. At last, he steamed into Rosie's rock shop. No one was there. Reneus was on an old truck. What's Reneus doing there? thought Thomas. I don't have time to find out. I must hurry. As Thomas puffed along, he was worried. I hope Reneus is alright, he thought. At the yards, all the engines were waiting for Michael. They were all talking about him, when at last they heard a whistle. Here she comes, said James, and in pulled Emily, with a special coach. Lady Hat arrived to greet Michael out of the train. Thomas puffed in. Am I late? Oh, oh no, I've missed him. Lady Hat was driving Caroline up the hill and back to their house. Caroline was their replacement car. Bother, now I'll never meet Michael. The fat controller was in hospital. His wife came in to see him. Hello, Marjorie. You come to see me, have you? Give us a kiss. Stop him, stop! I've closed the blinds, now lie back down. You need your rest. It's been like this all day, said Thomas to Percy. I hope he's better soon, said Percy. He will be. These things take time, said Thomas. I remember seeing something strange last night. What was it? said Thomas anxiously. It was a blue diesel. And he had a yellow face. That must be the diesel I saw in the secret island. <gasps> he must have followed me back to Sodor. Oh, what shall I do? Thomas, he means trouble. You need to sort this out. It's all your fault. I know, said Thomas sadly. He was upset. That night, Thomas puffed into Tim of Sheds. Oh dear. What? Oh, nothing. James, where are you going? James, where are you going? <gasps> Bust my buffers! What's going on? <gasps> what, what's that? Leave me, Leave me alone! alone. Go, Go away! away. Go. 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 Go! Leave me! Leave me. Cinders and ashes! <gasps> it was just a dream. Thomas spent the date with Michael. Michael was his driver for the date, as his driver was sick. Thomas tried to show off. Hmm, I wonder how I can make myself look really, really reliable. Thomas didn't know how, but he set to work anyway. Hmm, I must go slowly and steadily, said Thomas. Then he arrived back at Rosie's rock shop. Reneus was on the sidings. Thomas stopped. So, what's wrong with you, said Thomas. I don't feel good, said Reneus. I don't know what it is. Oh, I must find out what it is, said Thomas. Goodbye, Reneus. Goodbye. Thomas set off down the line. Hmm. Meanwhile, at the mountain railway, Peter Sam was working at the incline. He had to do Reneus' job as well as his own. And whilst he was working on the incline, Sir Handel was working with the passengers.
Thomas arrived at the station to speak to him. Oh, hello, Thomas. Is Reneus better yet? said Thomas. No, he doesn't stop moaning. He's really fussy, he is. Anyway, I can't stop Thomas. I must keep time, you know. Sir Handel puffed off with his passengers. It was a rather windy day, but he carried on with his usual jobs. After his work, he pulled into the side of the Crimson's gate. That's strange, said Sir Handel. Reneus isn't here. His driver saw a note flapping about in the wind. He went over and ripped it off. After he read the note, he looked very worried. This will explain where Reneus is. There's a note from the scrapyard saying he'll be scrapped tonight. Peter San was working at the incline. Sir Handel rushed over to Peter San. Hello, Sir Handel. Reneus is going to be scrapped, said Sir Handel. We must go and help him, says Peter San. And he left his trucks and hurried away to the scrapyard. They found Reneus in a siding. But the diesels outside had spotted the engines going in. Get them. Get them. Scrapyard doors opened and two smaller engines on the narrow gauge tracks buffered up behind Sir Handel and Peter Sand. What's that? Who's that? Get off! The two engines started pulling them back, but Sir Handel fought back with his steamroller wheels. Just give up! He's gone! said the engine. Sir Handel had lost. It was too late. See what you've done. I only did it for the good of the railway, said the fat controller. Peter Sam had gone off on his own. He dropped his fireman off and went to a peaceful part of the line where he could relax. He needed to be alone. He found a siding next to Mr. Percival's house where the buffers were. I don't come here very often, he said. It's nice and peaceful. Then Thomas arrived. Hello, Peter Sam. Reneus has been scrapped. What? said Thomas. Oh my goodness. Just then, some pieces of debris flew past them. Oh my goodness, what is that? The orange pieces flew into the buffers. They must be magic buffers, said Thomas. Magic buffers? Yes, they must go to the secret island. I've been there before. That must be where the other engines are. I must go there. Be careful and I'll meet you there, said Thomas. Okay. I'm nervous, he said, but I'm going to save Rusty, Scarlowy and Duncan. I could save these friends. Then he disappeared. <laughs>